and uh, putting a text any text you want to put between them and uh, in this video I want to share with you a project about uh, the topic with, which is related with the hand gesture detection and uh, doing some projects on it maybe one more project I want to do with that this is the first one uh, at the end of this uh, project you will get a similar things looks like this one in this video I recorded this video in the morning I also will show you the live stream now with the code uh, but the project uh, will be looks like this one and basically it's detecting your finger fingertips and uh, putting a text any text you want to put between them and uh, it's resizing it and it's also when if if also if if you rotate the your fingers is also rotating the text accordingly this is basically what I want to do in this uh, video also as you can see it's resizing and make the distance smaller between your fingertips okay how I will do that uh, first of all uh, the basic part is let me sh open my camera and show you uh, this one let me show you okay now you see me hello and uh, now it's just detecting my finger there approximately there are 20 points uh, detecting in my hand and drawing the lines between them and as you can see it's working very accurately you can think this is seems slow but it's not slow you will understand it now uh, maybe because of my speech and my camera speed you can think it's slow but uh, okay it's slow but uh, actually it's very good <laughs> for my computer I will talk about it now let's back on the code side uh, it's running in this part as you can see I'm running this code via on GPU so if I close the GPU you will <laughs> you will see the results uh, how slow it is let me show you even opening the camera you can see it takes long time even the first frame yeah you can see that uh, one frame almost taking two seconds to process because uh, this is running on CPU now and you can see how slowly it is that's why uh, the previous one was more better than this one okay so by the way if you do have a GPU and if you want to run this code on GPU please uh, check my CUDA installation video and install the CUDA first otherwise you cannot even you put these things uh, it cannot use the CUDA and GPU in the backend uh, without this it will run on the CPU side okay my GPU by the way uh, is it's the first Nvidia GeForce generation so it's not a good it's not a really good GPU even like that I think the uh, process time is acceptable it's, it can be preferred okay and this is the code okay the the previous one I'm showing you you can find many codes in the internet for example uh, one of these is this one you can easily get uh, how to detect these points inside the hand uh, this part is easy I can say uh, for nowadays for now because uh, there are models in the internet you can easily download for example this uh, blog in 2018 written and you can easily uh, get the implementation how to detect these points and but how about uh, the video I showed you this project I want to do is uh, different than that one you need to add something for example GPU I said secondly you need to rotate the text accordingly inside the frame and also you need to resize the text uh, again uh, what else also you need to uh, separate the uh, separate the target fingertips which one you want to use these basic things you need to do and you need uh, actually you need to uh, develop a simple algorithm to get the result I showed you in the beginning okay first of all you need to install the models these two models one of them is proto txt uh, I will copy this uh, how to get this file on terminal since these are uh, one of these for example this cafe model is little uh, huge uh, let's say 147 megabyte I'm not downloading it again just copy these two lines to terminal and you will get these two files okay after that you will copy that uh, 
to here proto file and wait file these those two file to here you will copy after that uh, you need to get the desired get the target fingertips for example I am here I specified them also you are calculating the angle also you are rotating the txt this can be a little uh, complicated seems by the way I will not give the code directly I will talk about it at the end let me show you this part okay let's run this code now how it looks like okay now you can see open cv and i'm resizing it making it small and making it bigger and i'm little rotating since now i uh it's at it's night now the view is not really good so don't don't care about it because the background and my finger also little uh in the same contrast so sometimes it can missing but if you uh, if you try this in your area most probably you will get better results okay done okay I think this is good uh, if I try this in the morning or in a better background maybe I will get more better results but I can say this is good for now yeah okay then let me close this uh, as I said uh, I'm not doing a big things here just uh, because already the model is ready I'm just running them and I'm uh, uh, making a simple uh, with a simple approach I'm developing I'm developing an algorithm I am getting this result uh, in this video for example my background was more better in the morning and I, I'm getting here more better results easily so that's why uh, you need to try this uh, with a more better background maybe not the same contrast value with your hands this is one of the important point and like that uh, by the way this code uh, I will not share in my github because most of them I copied from like this website I copied just a uh, simple uh, scope of that I, I, I wrote by myself but anyone uh, wanna this code, I, I can send them. Just uh, like the video, subscribe and comment and email to me. I will give the code to you. I will send that code to anyone, um, email and doing these things. Then see you in the next video.